and his voice was not heard in chapter 1 in chapter 10 in chapter 20 in chapter 30 in chapter 32 he screamed out he said i also see everyone's voice has been heard they are trying to silence my voice but i also see others have been speaking others have been opening their mouth and saying things but there is a power that's trying to shut my voice i also say i make a declaration as you hear the sound of my voice by the power of the holy ghost no power can shut your voice no power can shut your voice no force can shut your voice god is about to amplify your voice God is about to amplify your voice. Somebody shout yes. Take your seat. The life of Job tells us a lot that no life, you see, the life of Job tells us that the trials of life are meant to polish us, not to punish us. The troubles, greatness is a school, but trials are your school fees. And you don't understand, and that is why this night, don't give up on yourself. Even if you are a young chap, don't give up on yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Don't look down on what God can do through you. Don't look down. Moses was three months old when he got his mother a job. Moses was three months old when he hired his mother and put her on salary and you are over 45 and your family cannot feel your impact you are over 50 and nobody feels your impact that devil is a liar at the end of this meeting your relevance shall be felt your value shall be felt your value shall be felt your importance shall be felt your generation shall feel your impact you say man of god you don't understand i've lost a lot in my life i have lost opportunities i've lost privileges it doesn't matter what you have lost god lost angels god lost angels and he's still god god lost angels and was not depressed and you lost one husband and you are crying and weeping and weeping and crying husband you did not create a woman you didn't create angels god created he lost them and he was not depressed there are so many of us who are crying because there are certain people that walked out of our life now the problem is that some wrong people are in your life occupying space until they leave they cannot give access to the right people to come why did job get to that point in his life where he had to curse the day of his birth why was i born why was i born if I'm, I'm i'm gonna go through this pain in life if i will go through these trials and tribulation and go through the situation why was i born and there are many people who have surrendered their life to christ and the battles they are going through now someone said to me oh, oh some days ago yesterday or today he sent me a message and said papa thank god for everything thank you so much thank let me tell the lord i thank him so much for all my work with him for about 20 years i'm going to the world i'm going to the world and he began to list all the battles he said i never knew somebody can serve god so much genuinely and still go through these battles and he said he's going to go to the world and um i, I had to show some concern i said that's nice that's so good and you, you, you prayed and you fasted and yet this happened. Just imagine if you didn't fast and pray, what would have happened? If you fasted and prayed and your life is still like this. So I said, number one, let me explain some things to you. You can't go to the world now because they will reject you. It's too late. It's too late. They will reject you. It's too late. Number two, you cannot backslide now. You can't turn your back because every weapon given to us there's no weapon for your back there is only the breastplate of righteousness the shield of faith the helmet of salvation your loins got about with truth and i but i could understand i could understand why he was in that condition you see it's easy for us to shout and scream and do all of that but there are many of us 
when we look at our life there are burdens we are carrying there are burdens there are burdens in our heart there is pain in our heart i've seen genuine people who love jesus so much but they look at their life there are certain aspects that give them pain and concern it's as though their life is a palace of disease a schedule of failure a life is, is is a center of pity and people look at them and they're asking this person follows the lord why is his life like that why is that life job was in that condition but i want you to know before i go further that there is going to be a response from heaven listen to me everyone here in arari i don't know how many years you have believed god for that miracle but i've come to tell you tonight that in the next few minutes when the hand of god comes upon you you will see god's power god is going to give to you all the years that the cankawam has eaten the caterpillar has eaten the locust has eaten it shall be restored to you it shall be restored to you it shall be restored to you somebody shout i receive take your seat how many people want it now how many people want it how many people want it right now all right listen sit down sit down sit down listen in genesis chapter 15 verse 13 the bible says listen genesis 15 13 the Bible says God gave a prophecy that the children of Israel will be in bondage for 400 years. And if you read Exodus 12 and verse 40, they were in bondage for 430 years. How many years? 430. The prophecy was pending for 430 years. One time Joshua gave a prophecy in Joshua chapter 7 verse 26 and said, anyone that rebuilds Jericho shall lay the foundation with his firstborn and it shall complete it the gate with his last son and if you study your bible in first Kings 16 and verse 34 after 70 years a man called here came and fulfilled that prophecy after how many years 70 years the first prophecy was 430 years the second prophecy how many years arari talk to me how many years how many the first prophecy how many years second prophecy in second kings chapter 4 if you read verse 16 elijah prophesied on the woman and said by this time next year according to the time of life you shall have a baby and one year later the prophecy came to pass how long the first prophecy how many years the second prophecy the third prophecy in second kings chapter 7 if you read verse 1 elisha prophesies and said by this time tomorrow listen he said by this time he said by this time tomorrow a measure of flying flour shall be sold for a shekel and in 24 hours listen now in 24 hours that prophecy came to pass how long how long the first prophecy how long second third fourth in matthew 26 if you read verse 36 jesus said unto peter he said before the cock crow tonight you shall deny me thrice six hours later six hours later that prophecy came to pass how long six the first how many the second the third the fourth the fifth in isaiah chapter 38 if you read from verse 1 on to verse 5 Isaiah gives a prophecy to Ezekiah he said put your house in order for you shall surely die and as Isaiah was walking out of the hall five minutes later listen to me F hear me everyone hear me everyone hear me maybe you are waiting for 430 years maybe you are waiting for 70 years maybe you are waiting for one year maybe you are waiting for 24 hours maybe you are waiting for six hours but in the next five minutes in the next five minutes 
your story is about to change God is about to change your story the hand of God is coming upon you I said God will touch your life it will touch your body it will touch your home it will touch your finances you don't serve a dead God you serve a mighty God he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever when God says yes no man can say no when God lifts you up no man can bring you down God is on your side power is on your side glory is on your side God is on your side God is on your side In the next five minutes, good news is coming to your phone. Ah. Take your seat. Ooh. Hear me. Hear me. Something is happening in the realms of the spirit. Something is happening in the realms of the spirit. Something is happening in the realms of the spirit there is a shift in the realms of the spirit take your seat how many of you you are really concerned and asking yourself why do christians suffer why is it bother why when we see those who don't know god do better than those who know god let's get real why when we see those who don't go to church those who don't fast who don't pray those who do nothing and they 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 seem to succeed they seem they seem you are concerned you are concerned i was praying for a pastor's wife she gave birth through a cesarean session i mean the cuts are open and um, she gave birth so the, the place wasn't healing up so they tried they did everything and it was going rotten it was smelling and doing all of that and they brought her for prayers and she came i was about to pray and um the lord said don't pray i said why and the lord said she's not happy with me she's not happy with god and i said please ma the lord said you are not happy with him and i'm going to pray to him how can i pray to a man you are not happy with can you please be happy she said how can i be happy i said okay what is it he said i pray he said my ministry is the fruit of the womb i pray for people and they get pregnant they give birth safely he said how come me who prays for the people me how come that the deliverer now needs deliverance how come the physician now needs healing why do Christians suffer when I look through the life of Job and so many things I saw but I'll pick just three points Job was a very busy man he was sacrificing but we study your Bible the Bible says one day the sons of God came to the presence of God even Satan was in the presence of God but Job was absent from the presence of God. Job was the topic of discussion, the center of attraction, but it wasn't there. Why do Christians suffer? The first reason Christians suffer is because of bankrupt of divine presence. Bankruptcy. Many of us who come into the church, the little trap, but we don't understand something called the presence of God. We don't know what it means to be a carrier of that presence. What it means to be somebody who moves like a mobile temple in the presence of God. 
the children of Israel knew the power of his presence and that was why Moses said in Exodus 33 verse 14 15 if thy presence go not with us don't carry us hither we are not just interested in the promised land we are interested in the presence of God that was why God said to them I will be with you as a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day I'm talking about the audacity of divine presence in Psalm chapter 68 and verse 2 he said as wax melt before the fire let the wicked melt at the presence of our God in not away something 11 that will show me the path of life for in thy presence fullness of joy at the right hand of pleasure ever in nineteen for the time of refreshing shall come from presence of our God in Jonah chapter 1 and verse 6 he said and Jonah ran from the presence of God in Genesis chapter 4 and verse 16 he said and Cain left the presence of God I'm talking about the power of his presence when you understand that all God wants of you is to is present is to become a carrier of the presence of Elohim you see you see the presence of God begins with your passion to seek God I want to ask you a question a young boy listen to this a young boy had five loaves of bread and two fishes right now listen the young boy was listening to Jesus for three days he had his lunch Three days he had his lunch but was not hungry. Hey. Sir, spiritual hunger swallows up physical hunger. Spiritual hunger. Those who can't fast don't know what spiritual hunger is. Those who can't spend hours seven hours eight hours ten hours in the place of prayer don't know what spiritual hunger is many of you you spend more time on your phone than on the throne the bible says in psalm 24 from the three who shall ascend the hill of the lord he said he that has a clean hand and a pure heart he that has not lifted up his soul to vanity nor sworn deceitfully he said this man shall be blessed in his generation and he went on to say in verse 6 of psalm 24 he said this is the generation of them that seek thy face then in verse 7 he said lift up your head O ye gates only those that seek his face can speak to gates only those who seek his face speak to gates when you seek the face of God then you can speak to gates you know there is something there is something you don't understand most of us quote the scripture Romans chapter 8 from verse 28 29 we quote it all things work together for good to them that love God and to them what they call according to his purpose now that scripture is not for everybody no if you don't understand verse 26 don't quote verse 28 and 29 verse 26 said now the spirit make it intercessions help us our infirmity make it intercession with groanings that cannot be uttered Am I speaking to somebody here? He said, The Spirit help us. We make intercessions with groanings that cannot be uttered. After we have made groanings, we know all things work together. things only work together for those who have prayed all things only work together for those who have made groanings it groanings groanings he says in jeremiah 29 and verse 13 he says i like this so much one of my favorite verses in the bible he said thou shalt seek me and find me when you shall seek me with all your heart 
what you will seek me i am tired of normal christianity i want to spend time in the presence of god there is nothing outside i want to stay inside i want to spend time i want to be a carrier elijah was a carrier moses was a carrier joseph i am tired i don't want to be normal i don't want to be normal Aratasha. Brack up. You see? You see? Many of you are playing. You are playing. 24 hours you're on your phone. Your battery runs down, you plug it, you charge it up again. It runs down, you plug. And you don't spend two, three, four hours alone. God is tired of commandants, He's looking for commanders. God is tired of comedians. He is looking for commanders. Only those who see his face can speak to gates. There is an audacity you command when you are a carrier of his presence. You see, Job was everywhere and yet he was nowhere. You can be everywhere and yet you are nowhere. You can be doing everything and yet you are doing nothing. Nineteen ninety-eight. I waited on the Lord for one year. I wasn't fasting for power or anointing. I just wanted to know Him. One day we were having a pastors' meeting in Nigeria, and I was praying. And I was praying. I opened my eyes. I saw some of the pastors just looking at me. And at the end of the one, I was telling another one. He said, "I'm I'm going home." He said, "What? Did you see the way Papa is praying? What is he praying for again?" What's he looking for? Yeah, that's what. What's he looking for? Is he praying, rolling and praying, sweating? And I said to him, I'm not looking for anything. I'm in love with him. You see, one of the expressions of love is time. Time. Who you love, what you love, you spend time with. You give attention to. Your love for God is on the platform of how much time you spend with him he that dwelleth not he that visited he that dwelleth not he that visited elijah said according to the word of the lord before whom i stand not whom i visit stand stay let the money go let the connections go let the fame go but i need your presence i want to spend time job was everywhere you see two women two women two women mary and Martha. in case you want to marry there are two kinds of women in the body of christ there is mary there is Martha. there's the mary generation there is a Martha generation the married generation, they are very spiritual, but they cannot cook. The matter generation, the matter generation, they are not spiritual, but they are domesticated. They can cook, they can clean, but they cannot pray. So when God gives you a Mary who can pray, look for how to put a matter on her. And when God gives you a matter, look for how to put a Mary. So don't say. And one time, Jesus, matter was everywhere. Matter said, Jesus, tell Mary to come and join me in the kitchen. Tell Mary, matter was working for God, not working with God. Was working for God and not working with God. Many are doing the work of the Lord without the Lord of the work. I was working for God and Jesus looked at matter he said what did you say he said tell Mary to come and join me in the kitchen and Jesus said matter matter now this woman was standing close to Jesus yet he called her twice how can you call someone twice who is standing by you 
Martha! Martha! In other words, he called her to her senses. He wasn't calling her name. He was calling her senses. Martha! Martha! In other words, come back to yourself. He said, Mary has chosen the better part. Am I speaking here? To spend time to become a carrier. How can, you see, you cannot carry God's presence and carry cancer. You can't carry God's presence and carry fibroid. You can't carry God's presence and carry tuberculosis. You can't be a carrier. I went into one African country and as I walked in with my brief, my bag, my traveling bag, as I walked in there, they looked at me, they said, are you so and so? I said, yes, they follow us. I said, no problem. I was going, I was just praying and I was praying from the plane. So when I was going, I was speaking in tongues. They said, what are you saying? I said, it doesn't concern you. Uh, take me to where you're taking me to. And they took me and they said, well, we are sorry. We want to do a thorough search on you. And I said to them, for your own good, don't, don't do it. He said, for our own good, are you threatening us? I said, no, don't just do it. They said, we want to do a thorough search on you. I said, no problem. They said, can you take off your jacket? I took off my jacket. I gave it to the first man. He fell down. And I picked it up. Try to give the second man, he fell down. And I asked the third man, I said, You want? He said, No, 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 no. Put on, put on. I said, You, you can, you can take, you can take the jacket. Now, I never knew, <laughs> I never knew there was going to be something like that at the airport. It was just the presence I carried from home. Spend time. He that dwelleth in the sickle. So why do we come to God's presence? The first thing God's presence commands is mercy. Somebody shall mercy. Chapter 4 and verse 16. Let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. And the second thing he commands is help. Find help in the time of need. You need mercy in your life. Am I speaking here? is about to be born the heavens of kenya is open victory 2023 zimbabwe father's blessing hey! it is the time for us to visit the nation of zimbabwe i saw myself in your family i'm not seeing father Why i'm looking at me? mother i saw mother's mother i saw nine one that is supposed to be seven because one is a set of twins i saw myself with emmanuel emmanuel okay. is the first twin Hallelujah. i saw myself with antony antony is the second one to reach you. was bankrupt of divine presence you know you know job was blaming everybody if you listen in fact one of the book the verses in the bible job was ready to take god to court and I'm wondering if this guy takes God to court, who will be the judge? Was ready because of situation. Elisha was anointed by Elijah. One time Elijah cried out. First Kings 19. And he said to God, I am not better than my fathers. Take my life. Any man not better than his fathers is not fit to live. Take my life anyone not better than the fathers not fit to live and the bible tells me and god said no problem i have seven thousand seven thousand who have not bowed their knees to bow sometimes people ask me why i'm humble why i'm simple i say because i always know that god can do without me nobody in the house and the kingdom of god is indispensable Seven thousand have not bowed their nail to bow. So drop the titles. Drop all the arrogance and the pride. Let no arrogance come out of your mouth. You are what you are by the grace of God. Kill the pride. Kill the pride. And Job was crying unto God. 
Do you know if you study your Bible, the Bible says, and God said to Elijah, anoint Elisha to become prophet in thy room. Anoint Jehu to be king of Israel. And anoint Aziel. Elijah was running from a woman called Jezebel. And God said to Elijah, it's all right. Take this anointing on your life and release it upon three people. So the anointing on Elijah was too heavy to come on one person. It had to be splitted on three people. And out of those three people, one called Jehu killed Jezebel. So God was invariably saying to Elijah, this Jezebel you are running from, you are bigger than her three times. All right. Now, Elisha becomes a prophet. Hazel becomes a king. But Jehu was nowhere to be found. Fourteen years, the prophecy of Jehu was pending. Jehu became so discouraged, he joined the military. He became a soldier because his prophecy was hanging. You see, when prophecy delays, alternatives are initiated. When prophecy is delayed, alternatives are initiated. So, Jehu became a military man. One day, Elisha remembered. He said, now I remember that there's a prophecy concerning a man called Jehu. And he called someone. He said, run there. Call him out. Call him out. Because for the anointing to come on you, you have to be set apart. He said, call him out. He said, and anoint him. When you anoint him, run. Because he's carrying an overdue prophecy. Someone's prophecy is overdue. And because of what God has said about you, when the anointing hits this place, your prophecy shall come to pass take your seat as a round up now the second reason why job suffered job suspected everybody except the root of his problem if you study your bible and read job from chapter 2 to chapter 42 job never blamed satan job the second reason why job suffered was spiritual blindness many christians are suffering because they are spiritually blind the bible calls you an eagle you are called an eagle because of the power of your sight the power of vision but a blind eagle is not better than a vulture you must understand the power of sight in Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 repeated the same thing in Luke eleven thirty four. 34 how many of you love the word of the word of God you love I love the word of God that's my strength in Luke eleven thirty four, 34 it says the lamp of the body is the eye if the eye is single thy whole body shall be full of light there is power of sight anytime God wants to change your life he will first correct your sight he said to Abraham what do you see in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 he said what seest thou and in verse 12 he said I've seen an almond tree and God said I will hasten my word to perform it in Jeremiah 24 verse 3 God said what seest thou what is your vision can you see in Amos chapter 7 and verse 8 what seest thou in Amos chapter 8 and verse 2 what seest thou in Zechariah chapter 5 and verse 2 what seest thou in Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 2 what seest thou in Ecclesiastes chapter 6 and verse 9 better is the sight of the eyes and the wandering of the desire what do you see what can your eyes see what is programmed before you the Bible says Psalm 34 and verse 9 they looked up to him and their faces were lighted and they were not ashamed am I communicating now in Psalm 119 and verse 18 open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law I refuse to be blind I refuse to be blind open my eyes oh God open my eyes oh god open my eyes to see open my eyes oh god i refuse to be blind i refuse to be blind you see in those days when there is no vision when there is no vision people perish that's what the bible says but today when there is no vision people go to another parish 
nobody has the time you see there are so many of us who are believers and we don't see nothing you are so blind and you think it's normal you don't see nothing you don't see anything there are people that don't see anything open my eyes open my eyes jesus said to peter in luke 22 from verse 32 said simon satan has desired you to have you that he might sift you he said but i've prayed for you so satan had an agenda against peter but peter never saw it open my eyes we have seen christians die via accident some of them die by gunshot why they never saw it their eyes were never open their eyes were never open their eyes were never open am i communicating here some time back a woman said to me he said dad my husband lifted his hand and gave me a slap he beat me up i said did what he beat you up and that was a sunday service i said i'm about to talk to people i'll call him later and the man was in a place called abuja he was at the airport in abuja in nigeria the capital of nigeria and i called him up on the phone i said son your wife said you beat her up he said dad i'm going to call you back i said don't call me back stay on the phone he said that i'm on the boarding line we are boarding i said step out of the line he said i'll miss my flight i said miss your flight he said i will miss i said miss your flight and i began to talk to him i said why did you hit your wife the bible says a minister or a believer must not strike why did you do that we are talking he said dad the plane is boarding they've announced final boarding i said miss it miss the flight and now the plane left he was quiet on the phone i said why are you quiet he said i've missed my flight i said then go somewhere rest fly the next day he said but that is not fair you would have allowed me land that we can have a conversation i said you won't land this is urgent fly tomorrow i hung up the phone 25 to 30 minutes later he calls me up and was crying the aircraft he was supposed to board crashed it was called Dana Air. That aircraft crashed. Its name was on the manifest. But it never flew. Because somebody saw something. And said don't fly. Step off the line. There are many of us. Who have fallen victims of battles of life. Because we are not sensitive to see. You know many of you are young people. Many of you are young people. You are. You, you, you desire <laughs> You desire the prophetic anointing to bless people, not yourself. Speak to me first before you speak through me to anybody. Bless me first. No, bless me first before you pass through me to bless anybody. I refuse to affect people and not be affected. Bless me first. Open my eyes first. To see what's around me. Open my eyes first. That is why. Some pastors and some believers. May have witches in their home. And they are not aware. They can have witches. In their homes. And they are not aware. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. There are so many of you. You see, a man said he had a dream. He had a dream. Listen to this story. And in the dream, he saw that God said to him, I was going to be the one to help his life. He didn't know how. He didn't know how to reach me. So one day I came into that town, that nation, and I was going to see the president of the country. And as I was going, I was passing through, the man came around and saw me. He stood and I was shaking hands with people. I shook his hand. I said, how are you? He said, I'm fine. He said, Apostle, you forgot me? I said, I don't, I don't think I know you. He said, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. I said, ouchie. He said, yes, ouchie. Now, we have quite a big church. I can't know everybody. So I just played along. I said, oh, good to see you. How are you? I said, what department are you? He said, ouchie. What department are you in the church? Ouchie. I said, okay. I held his hand. I was trying to release it. He said, please don't leave my hand. Please don't leave my hand. I held his hand, and as I was moving with him, the security allowed him. I don't know this man. He was following me. Finally, the president walks in. I'm introducing people. 
Mr. President, this is this, this is this. I get to him, I say, this is um, Auchi. And guess what? The president looked at his face and the president screams. And he looked at the president, he said, why? I was confused. The president said, Apostle, do you know him? I said, uh, he said, Apostle, this is one of my biggest supporters. Since I became president, I can't find him. I can't see him. Where have you been? And the man said, Mr. President, anytime I try to come, the security chased me away. Anytime I try to reach you, they send me out. But I had a dream that Apostle was to help me. I saw it. So when I saw him there, yeah, I had to hold his hand to bring me. And, the, and, I, and the president said to me, Apostle, what do we do? I said, oh, what do you do to a friend you have not seen for years? Do everything. Give him money. Give him contracts. Give him an office. Now this is it. This is it. He saw it. Many of us, we don't have guidance. We don't have how to chart a course for our life because we are spiritually blind. We don't know where we are going. We don't know what to do. We are just there. Tonight, God will open your eyes. Be upstanding. Be upstanding. Be upstanding. As we begin to pray in the next couple of minutes, the power of God is coming. Many of you, he said, he said, Simon, Satan has desired that he may sift you with. Lord, tonight, turn my body to eyes. Turn all my body to eyes. Turn my body into eyes. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
Pasó. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mantles. I am mantles. Oh yes. Mantles are about to be transferred. Mantles. Oh, yes. Hold your hands. Hold your hands here. All of you. All of you. All of you here. Hold hands fast. Fast. Mantles. Prophetic mantle. Apostolic mantles. The mantle of greatness to take nations for Christ in the name of Jesus. I transfer mantles. Mantles. Pack! In the name of Jesus. Mantles. 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 Old hands. Mantles. 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 Prophetic mantles. Apostolic mantles. Father, raise up great people. Raise up great people. Great. Pack! In the name of Jesus, mantles, mantles, hold hands there, hold hands, fresh anointed, fresh grace, head in the name of Jesus, mantles, mantles, parapatalabates, imparatas, sakataya, imprete sakatesha, mantles, mantles, hold your hands there, hold hands. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Hey! In the name of Jesus, fresh fire, fresh fire. Hold hands here, hold hands, hold hands there. Father, baptize them. Let their generation hear their voice. Your generation will hear your voice. Mantles on the choir, mantles, prophetic mantle, power, mantles. Mantles, 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 zaparate kateras, i kateze, i kateze, ataya la mana, mandise berendos, intara, hold your hands, itarata taranta, e paranta, fresh fire, 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 fresh fire. Rapa pata pataya, isa kataya taya. I don't know. I don't know who's crying in this place. Who's crying to God? Who is yearning? Who is hungry? Who is yearning to God? for supernatural fire hold your hands here hold your hands i saw flags of nations god is sending you to the nations i release the mantle fire 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 mareka sandalantos intergaras packets in the mighty name of Jesus, fresh fire. Asata, Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah. Yeshua, Jesus, 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 Oh, 
together and lift it up hold hands on your left and right hold hands on your left and right lift it up at the count of three father let there be a threefold manifestation of the prophetic the healing and the apostolic upon someone's life let the glory let the glory of god come upon the people right now one two three ten. fresh fresh fire fresh mantle let the grace of god fall upon the people Lion of Judah, Adoration, Yeshua, Yeshua, Hamashia, Hamashia, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, Akunetema, Yeshua, Hamashia. sickness and disease to go we command afflictions blind eyes to be open deaf ears to be unstopped we rebuke bone fracture we command paralysis of the limb to go we command cancer tumor fibro growth come out in the name of Jesus we speak healing in your body we speak healing in your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet you are healed in the name of Jesus Amen. a blind eye has just been opened Amen. Jesus just opened a blind eye Amen. someone has been blind for five years Jesus has opened your eyes Amen. your sight is restored someone has a fracture problem Jesus is healing you 
bone fracture healed. Masse Pratash. And that Miracles all over. Who is Simba? Who is Simba? Who is Simba? Simba. Nyataya. Simba Nyataya. See what the Lord What we waited for. What we waited for. What we waited for. Has come to pass. Has come to pass. Oh. One more time. See what the Lord has done. See what You want the anointing there? Do you want the anointing? Lift your hands. Up there on the eighth floor, you want the anointing. Hold your hands. Hold somebody on your left and right. Hold someone's hand and lift it up. Touch them now, Jesus. Touch, 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 touch them with your power. Brother, stand up. I hear the Lord say to tell you, your time has come. I saw in the spirit look at me look at me look at me i saw three years i saw 2020 i saw 2020 2020 and i began to ask the lord what's happening the lord began to show me that heaven wants to smile on you your delay 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 in the realms of fruitfulness I see a place and I want to pray something like Mashana 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 and I asked the Lord what is happening someone buried something and this this is a, a, a spell I saw a screen and the Lord is telling me because you see you 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 love God so much you love God so much you love God so much but I saw if I saw vehicle I saw vehicle. I saw vehicle. I, I traded vehicles in vehicle parts. Huh? I traded vehicles in vehicle parts. Thank you, David. <laughs> Tari. 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 What's your name? Tari. Tari. That's your name? The Lord is whispering, he said to tell you that this season, your fruitfulness is confirmed. I, I just heard something. I, I hear something like Mad Mad Madamuse Mad Madamuse Vijana Vijina Vijina Madamuse. That's your name. Yes. Come this way. <laughs> what is that, Papa? Why you are ministry just now? You gave. You said my prophecy that God just told you. That the blind eyes are just be open. This man came with five years blindness. As soon as you get that word, the five years blindness disappear. He's here to return the glory to Jesus. What we waited for. Look at that. Look at that. Touch my nose. Touch my head. Touch my ear. 
touch my nose, my nose. Baba, you can see! Five years! Five years! Disappear! Hey! See what the Lord has done! See what the Lord has done! What we wait for has come to pass. If I tell you only the things you know, then it's not a prophecy. Prophecy can tell you even the things you don't know. That lady, stand up. I saw you in Zimbabwe. I saw you from Zimbabwe. Oh, yes, but can I'm I pray? Zimbab yeah? Yes, I'm from Zimbabwe. You're from Zimbabwe? Yes, sir. You're from Zimbabwe? Yes, sir. You're from Zimbabwe? Yes, sir. You're not from Zimbabwe? You, listen, your father was born in Zimbabwe. No. I saw, listen, I saw your father. Yes. Zimbabwe. Yes, sir. I saw your grandfather. Yes. Malawi. Yes. Because of a battle, a battle happened, and they decided to leave Malawi because of a battle, and they now adopt Zimbabwe. But the root is Malawi. Originally. So the root. Oh, uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Sir. Wait. I saw in the spirit realm. God said I should pray for you. You have a very good heart. You have a good heart. I, I saw you in the spirit realm. Look at me. I saw you with hair, making hair. I, yes, I was doing. I mean, it was, uh, I was but as I was, speak to you right now, yes, nothing. Like there was a salon yes, that you had. Yes. But one by one, one by one, one by one, you lost all your clients. Client, and you, you decided to say, no, 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 I've got to shut this down. Because you were even running at a loss. You were running at a loss. The money you were putting, yes. it was not coming out. Yes. I saw in the realm of the spirit. As I look at you now, you are not married. But I look at you, on your left hand there is a child, on your right hand there is a child. Yes, I have two kids. I saw in the spirit. Yes. Oh. Mafu, mafu. There's a child, mafu, mafu. Mafu, ruashe. That's your child? Yes. What's the dead zero, dead zero? Sorry. There's another child I see letter D. Yes, That's out. my first uh, my first born. That's your first born. Yes, Can sir. I pray with you? Yes, sir. I don't want to see. When God wants you to settle down, nothing can stop it. You will settle down now. And you are going to be happy. Last month, you met a guy. Huh? Yes, yes, sir. His name is Gerald. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I saw you want to get married, but you want to get married. You, yes, you want sir. to settle down. Yes, sir. Gerald likes you. Yes, sir. He likes you a lot. He likes you so much. But let me give you a counsel. Yes, sir. He's a great person. He has a call on his life. He wants to serve God. But what I want, are you are you embarrassed? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Okay. Yes. But I'll give you a counsel. There is someone coming. Gerard is a friend. He should be a friend. Keep him as a friend. Thank you. But there is someone. Two days to your birthday. Your birthday is 22nd. Yes, sir. December. Yes. And somebody is coming on the 20th ah. December. Oh. Hey, hey. Because. Ma. Because this. Listen. This birthday is very special. Look at me. 
this birthday is a landmark. It's 40th. Eh? 40th. 40th. Yes, yes. We're born 22nd. Yes. Listen. Friday. I receive. You were born Friday, 1 p.m. 22nd December 1983. Can I pray for you? Yes, yes. Now. Now. The Lord God that made the heavens and the earth. Because your heart, you love people so much, but they take advantage. Uh, you know her. You, she's a hairdresser. So you know what I'm saying. She used to make your hair. Lady, take it. Your time has come. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace on my days. I will see. Miracles are just taking place. Thank you, Father. Rekote Parata. Who is Samuel? Who is Samuel around here? Who is Samuel? Who is Samuel? Samuel. If your name is Samuel, come. And I know it's your grace. Melody. Who's Melody? Fire you brought me melody. Who is by that name? Shatala Mandra Oh, I can see, I can tell, and I know. I hear the voice of God to someone. God says, I should tell you, the anointing for properties, the anointing to own properties is coming upon you right now. Hey, baby. Oh. That you begin to own your own properties. You begin to own your own properties. I just had a whisper from the Holy Spirit said, tell someone tell someone that the God that lifts men listen to this he said he's putting a tambourine of celebration in your hands Amen oh. he's putting a tambourine of celebration you have entered celebration Amen Melody. Is that your name? Melody. What is Nyanchuru? What's Nyanchuru? Nyanchuru. Don't waste my time. If I call you, don't waste my time. Someone's husband is called Carpenter. Carpenter. Oh. I saw in the spirit realm. Who schooled in London? Who schooled in London? A university in London. And now you, now you are pastoring the ministry. You are pastoring the ministry. You, are, you had your education, your university education in London, but now you are pastoring the ministry like a missionary. Don't waste my time. Did you school in London? Come. I saw you school with the letter B. 
I saw a letter B. I saw a place. I saw a letter B. B. I saw a letter B. Brainstorm. 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 I saw a letter B. And I saw a church. Now. And I saw you. This church has a name like Reviver. Reviver. Yes, sir. And I saw you right now in a point. Come. You need a grace upon you to be so blessed. Because one of your dreams in your life, you see this kind of auditorium. Your dream, wait, your dream is to build this kind of place and give it to the gospel. You have a dream to be so blessed. So that when you are blessed, sure are you sure what's your name i'm samuel say samuel samuel sir do you sir oh hey hey oh can i pray because that anoint you see when your heart is about the kingdom i'm telling you from my experience when you become selfless not because oh lord oh lord when you 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 become selfless you make your life about the kingdom and you tell yourself for the kingdom not for me anytime your heart is set for the kingdom See, when you are a treasurer God is not looking for people just to bless for themselves he's looking for people to give money in trust just trust say hold it for me keep it so when you have dreams like this where people are saying I want to be blessed so I can do this for the kingdom then they are set to become financial powers financial empowers people that will stand tall in their generation the richest men in this world are not on Forbes you can't find them there you can't find them there they actually there are families that are billionaires in dollars you can't see them on Forbes Forbes is when they can still count your money when they can still count your money you appear on Forbes there are people they can't count what they have Solomon was so blessed. He died at 89. He was blessed, yet he lived long. Solomon had 42 businesses running at the same time. Solomon had 12,000 drivers. 12,000 drivers. He had 1,200 sheep on the high sea. Equivalent to 1,200 jets. 1,200 planes. Emirates doesn't have that. Solomon was so blessed that he went around the city and said they should remove all the stones and he put gold. The Bible says in his day, gold was like stone and silver was like sand. Solomon gathered all the men of Israel. He said, how many of you are from Israel? You don't have a building of your own. You live under someone's roof. They all gathered. Solomon built each of them houses. He said, in the days of Solomon, every man had his own house. This is the key to prosper. Please, make up your mind for the kingdom as these men have made up their mind and I release upon you sir the anointing that makes life easy the anointing for wealth anointing for common appearance and acceptance anointing for great manifestation come where is your husband can I pray I saw this one doing God's work and I want to pray amen because right now right now he's crying for fire <laughs> crying for the fire oh, this, the same way we are here now he's somewhere Jesus. he's crying for fire it's true. and the fire is coming oh, God. <laughs> oh the fire is coming 
I'm telling myself the issues of land is over. The issues of land is over. The Lord is giving me space. Please stand, stand, stand. What's your name? Can I pray for you? Yes. Two days. In the next 48 hours, your story will turn around. Hey, Amen. Glory. Oh. And whenever you hear the sound of my voice, I, I, I God said I should pray. Those of us who are believing God for babies, can I see your right hand up? You are believing God for babies, babies, babies. Come here, come here. Run out here. Come stand here. Come, 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 come. You are believing God for miracle children. Let people come to seek your face. As you live your life through me. Let people see you in me. Not just me. Let people see you in me. Not just me. Let people see. Let people see you with me. Not just me. Let people come. Let people come to see. As you live your life through me. As you live your life through me. Let people see you in me. Not just me. Listen. Wait, wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to round up soon. If you are standing here, make sure you are married. <laughs> make sure you are married. If you are not married, please go. If you are not married, because the Lord is telling me that some of you are not married. Please go. Thank you. Just step aside. If you are not married, step aside. Seek your face. As you live your life through me. Lift your hands. My father, I'm asking. See, there is an anointing that I know that God has put on my life. This one is very, very evidential. And I'm asking the Lord, hold hands together and just lift it up. If you're putting on glasses, can you take it up, please? Just give it to an usher or something or give it. Lift up those hands. My father, I'm asking that everyone who is crying out genuinely, looking up to you for babies. You said, children are heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Right now, I release a blessing and I ask for fruitfulness. Receive it right now. May you be fruitful. Amen. Congratulations to you. Amen. Congratulations to you. Amen. Oh. the name of Jesus grace of God upon you congratulations Amen. clap your hands for these people oh. clap your hands for these people Amen. between now and this year December listen to this there are many of you it has been said that you cannot get married but listen to me between now and December the restoration of your home the power to settle down and get married is released upon you now hey, hey. Oh. your time has come hey, hey. somebody say my time has come my, my time, time has come. come all the SOP 
Zimbabwe first. Zimbabwe first. Come. Zimbabwe. SOP Zimbabwe, come, come. Stand, stand, stand. SOP Zimbabwe. Just stay on the queue. SOP Zimbabwe. Straight, straight, stay like this. NC, check. Some people are joining them. Check if these are your people. Make sure they're your people. them are not <laughs> look around look around so please with sons of the prophet so the prophet so look around those who are not identified maybe so have you have you seen them so ninety percent Father, I take from my head the anointing that makes ministry easy right now. Let it be transferred. Let it be transferred upon every one of them. The anointing that makes ministry pay! Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. From this day, I pray every virtue that has come out of you in running around for this program, finances, time, energy, whatever has been spent, I decree your generation shall pay you. Your generation shall pay you. Your generation shall pay you. Your generation shall hear your voice. I speak a blessing upon you. I speak the grace of God upon you. You will not struggle in the name of Jesus. Your time has come. SOP Zambia, SOP Botswana, join them. Remain here. Remain. SOP Zambia, SOP Botswana, join them. Thank you, Father. I hate this kind God, another one of them. I hate this kind God, another one of them. I hate this kind God, another one of them. I decree upon you all when you call for one helper a hundred will appear you are no more a question you are an answer I decree speed I decree speed what took you years from now will take you weeks I decree you shall be accepted you are heavily defended I decree greater access into the supernatural begin to walk in strange realms on common realms of wonders on common realms of signs your time has come congratulations God bless you this kind of another one no do Where you are tonight, 
You see, Apostle, pray for me. I want to make peace with God in my life. I want to make peace. I've lived a life where I know if this world comes to an end now, I am not sure of where I'm going. So I want to make peace with God. And I want you to pray for me, Apostle, as I make peace, as I straighten my life with God and make peace with Him. If you're in that category, I would like you to raise your right hand and I'll pray with you. You want to make peace with God. You want to say, Jesus, please help me. I want to straighten my life. If you're in that category, I'm going to count to five. Come and come and meet me here. From wherever you are. One, come. Two, come. Grace, grace, grace. I see grace. Grace, grace, grace. All I see is grace. Grace, grace, grace. I see grace. Grace, grace, grace. I see grace. Grace, grace, I see grace. Grace, grace. Lift your hands, those of you in front of me, and say these words after me. Say these words after me. Say, Jesus. I can hear you. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I come to you tonight. Just as I am. Have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. From this day, I receive power to live for God in Jesus' name. Now lift your hands. Let me pray for you. I wish I can lay my hands on all of you, but I can't. But the Lord told me that when I pray for people, they will receive His favor. So I want to pray right now that that favor of God as you made this decision let it come right now touch 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 look at that look at that look at that touch 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 accept them receive them empower them and i decree the power to live for god your time has come in jesus name Amen. clap the hands for the lord you can go back now everyone be upstanding i want to leave you with this and then we're going to pray last week we are in Sierra Leone and I took a prayer which I will take now I want you to pray like you are from another world this was the prayer that every strong man who has taken my life as a project <laughs> while we are taking that prayer a live snake appeared live snake appeared and was killed on the spot live inside the stadium live snake was killed listen listen the operations of strong men is real and this is it's it's it's, it's a a life and death situation every greatness is tied to warfare every man who has become great now it, 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 it's, it's all over scriptures every man who has become great had a battle to fight is it Elijah? there is Ahab is it Elijah? there is the Lord the king lean is it Joshua? there is the city of Ai every great man has got something to deal with is it Moses? there is Pharaoh it is the 
downfall and the judgment of God on that strong man that opens them up for destiny. You will take this prayer loud and clear. Every strong man that has taken my life as their project tonight expire. Every strong man that has taken my life as their project tonight. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it louder than that. My, my father, father, my father. father. Every, strong my Every strong man that has taken my life as their project. Every strong man that has taken my life as a project. Tonight. Tonight. Expire. Expire. Open your mouth and fire prayers. <laughs> Please listen. There is a, a new Ghana is about to be born. The heavens of Kenya is open. Victory 2023 is Zimbabwe. Father's blessing. It is the time for us to visit the nation of Zimbabwe. I saw myself in your family. I'm not seeing father. Well, I'm looking at seen. mother. I saw mother's mother. I saw nine. One that is supposed to be seven because one is a set of twins. I saw myself with Emmanuel. Emmanuel okay. is the first twin. Hallelujah. I saw myself with Anthony. Anthony is the second one twin. Anthony. Tuesday, 10th and Wednesday, 11 October 2023 at City Sports Center, Harare, Zimbabwe, 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. We are going to be dedicating our prayer city. Thursday, 12th October, Father's Blessing and Church Dedication of Omega Fire Ministries Prayer City by 7 a.m. And by 8.30, the same venue, I'll be ministering and impacting pastors and partners. For partnership and reservations, call. I come to Arari because God said to me, your time has come. Zimbabwe, it's your season. Victory 2023 Florida.